Alrighty, so let's talk lunch. If lunch is the meal that you struggle with the most, that you find yourself skipping, or you just feel creatively blocked around, then this is the video for you. I truly believe that lunch is a wonderful opportunity for us to get in at least two serves of vegetables every day. And most Australians don't get the minimum five serves of vegetables in their day every day, which I think is a crying shame. Vegetables are filled with minerals and vitamins and fiber and yes, carbohydrates too. And all of these are really, really important to prevent us having that 3 p.m. slump and give us energy and help our brain work and help us be on top of our anxiety. And when you couple those vegetables with some protein, then you have got an absolute powerhouse of a lunch. And I know that that is what you want, right? So that's why we're here. So let's talk organization. First of all, try and figure out the sort of person that you are. If mornings are a fluster and you're usually sleeping through your alarm, I mean, there's things that we could talk about as to why that's happening, but if that's the sort of person that you are, then I highly recommend you organize your lunch before you go to bed at night. If, however, you do have that time in the morning, then obviously utilize that. You should take only 10 minutes to do this, but allow about 15 to 20 minutes to get your lunch done in the morning. So I love a few options for this. First of all, I love leftovers. I think leftovers are great. And if you do have leftovers from a really nutritious meal, go ahead, bring that to work. But or school, <laughs> um, but make sure that if you're going to reheat it, that you either reheat it at home and put it in a thermos. If you don't have a thermos, invest in one. They're brilliant. And if you are going to do it at work in a microwave, then make sure you either bring along a bowl and reheat it in the bowl. I usually would like to put like a, a plate over the top, bowl, plate, even if you keep those two at work for yourself and just utilize them or make sure you have like a glass container, but make sure there's no plastic uh, touching the food in any way, shape or form when you're reheating it because the plastic has a lot of hormone mimicking chemicals, whether it's BPA free or, or not, it does not matter. Those chemicals are there and they can leach into the food and then you consume it and it can absolutely wreak havoc on your hormones and your adrenals. So let's just stay well away from that. Um, I think that leftovers can be really awesome. Even if it's just like part of the meal from the night before that you have, then you can utilize that and get creative to make yourself a lunch. So perhaps you have some leftover roasted vegetables, you can make yourself a salad with that. Or if you have some leftover roasted chicken, again, you can add that to a salad, you can add it to a soup, you can do all sorts of different things with it. If you only have steamed vegetables left over, again, you can add that to a salad. You can whiz it up and make a quick soup out of it. There's just so many options. So just try to think of this as a creative opportunity to bring yourself joy, which I always like to do with food. Um, if you have, for example, some leftover curry or stew or something like that, and you don't have time to cook some vegetables in the morning, just grate up a carrot, grate up some zucchini, maybe some beetroot if you've got it, um, add some olive oil and a wedge of lemon, and that can be your salad that you have on the side of your curry. Delicious. Sounds a bit weird, I know, but hey, who cares? We don't need to label these foods or only eat them with certain things. If you get creative with these, you know, the world is your oyster, really. Now, salads, of course, I'm sure you know that I'm gonna mention salads because salads, I'm a big fan girl of salads. I truly believe that despite what Marge Simpson thinks, thinks you can definitely make friends with salad and I tend to do it a lot. Um, my salads are delicious. Uh, <laughs> And I actually have a salads guide. So if you would like my salads guide, let me know in the comments and I would happily send it, make it available for you on my website, etc. Um, it's been banging around the traps for, oh God, how long? I made it in 2012 at least. So it's been around for a while, nearly 10 years and it still stays really strong. 
but generally I think that salads are awesome. They should only take 10 to 15 minutes to make a salad. Allow 20 minutes, especially if you're new at this, but try to be just creative and also keeping it nice and simple. My tips for making salads are always put at least a cup of greens in your salad. Doesn't have to be spinach or mixed lettuce. You can put rocket, you can put kale. Uh, you can even put some chopped up parsley or coriander as your greens. And they're delicious. See, amazing. So start with that and then add some vegetables. I would say at least three is a good starting place, but you know, if you can go five to seven other vegetables, like you're on fire there, but you want at least half a cup of the rest of the salad to be vegetables. Um, maybe a cup if you're really gonna go for it. Uh, but I just find generally just chop them really, really small, as small as you can. Uh, if you're not really good with the knife skills, this is just a time for you to practice and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You'll find what works best for you and you can always look up on YouTube different easy, simple knife techniques as well if you want to get creative with that and really learn how to do it in a way that I guess is a more professional, whatever works for you. I know some people love that. I just kind of rock whatever works. Uh, once you've added your vegetables, then I really think it's a good option to, you know, add some texture to it. So that can be, you know, you can add some nuts or seeds. You chop up the nuts if you're going to do that. Uh, you can have some cooked quinoa or buckwheat in there if you want to. Um, I love to get a pickle and chop that up and add that in there. Or sauerkraut is delicious as well. Um, you can put some alfalfa on the top, whatever you want. Again, this is an opportunity for you to get creative. Then you want to add your protein. Now, this can be chickpeas, it can be quinoa, like I've already mentioned. See, we're, we're already doubling up. So you don't, if you've added quinoa, you don't have to add protein, basically. Um, but you can add a tin of tuna um, or other fish I find better are like mackerel, sardines, and uh, red salmon. Nearly forgot what that one was called. Um, again, if you've got some leftover chicken, leftover beef, leftover whatever meat, you can add that to your salad. Or perhaps you would like to prep some meat specifically for salad at the start of the week so that you have it the whole way through. You can boil eggs and add those. There really are so many options. Then when you want to dress the, the salad, please do not be afraid of fat and oil. They are so good for you. They're beautiful for your skin. They're beautiful for energy and they're so nourishing for your nervous system and your anxiety and your stress. So good fats, good fats. We want that a lot. This can be as simple as you want it to be, or it can be as complicated as you want it to be. So I generally will just go olive oil. I don't measure it, but at least a tablespoon and a wedge of lemon done. Maybe a bit of salt and pepper, maybe a few herbs if you want, but that's a really good way to dress your salad. You can use other things like some of the oils, <clears throat> excuse me, some of the oils that need to be kept in the fridge and can't be cooked like hemp seed oil or uh, flax seed oil or chia seed oil. They can be all really good options as well. Um, almond oil, macadamia oil, avocado oil, you get my drift. Um, I don't find coconut oil the greatest. It doesn't taste that nice on a salad, plus it's solid, um, solid when it's cold isn't nice on a salad either. So I wouldn't go for that option. Um, but other things that you can add, which you might not think of as dressings is you can put over some tahini. So I would usually go tahini, maybe some white wine vinegar, maybe a bit of olive oil as well, because I'm a fan, a uh, fan girl of the olive oil. Um, but you can also do things like putting on some hummus or um, cashew cheese is also a really yummy option. And then, yeah, you want to have some really good flavor in there. So like I said, herbs are great, sauerkraut's great, pickles are great. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Just get creative with it. And, you know, as long as you've got at least three vegetables other than your green leafy vegetable, then you're, you know, you're going somewhere. Um, <laughs> another option that I find really, really good, especially if you feel time poor and you love to meal prep, is you can make yourself a big soup at the start of the week and make sure it is literally packed with 
as many vegetables as possible. If you've got any vegetables left over from the week before, um, you know, some ends of celery and whatever else, you can chuck those in as well. It's a really good way to get rid of broccoli stalk. Uh, chop those up and put them in the salad, uh, sorry, soup, not salad. Chuck them in the soup and, um, and cook that up. I love doing like a minestrone style. Um, so putting in some minestrone style herbs um, and then adding in, instead of pasta, I do quinoa. So I cook, I, I rinse and cook the quinoa first and then I add it to the soup. Um, but then what I would usually do is then if I was gonna, I, I would heat it up in the morning um, and cart it to work and make sure that I have some sort of extra protein to add to it. So again, it could be a tin of fish, it could be some leftover chicken, it might be some boiled eggs, it really doesn't matter. Um, so there are some really awesome options. Um, actually, I should tell you one option that I love to do, um, which again, you could do this in a big batch, you could do it the night before, um, or if you work at home, like I do, <laughs> you can do it when you're at home. And so what I do is I get some uh, bean thread noodles, like the vermicelli, and I just get a small handful of that. I put it in a bowl, pour some boiled water and put a plate over it. While that is happening, I chop up a few vegetables. So it's usually like spring onion, broccoli, capsicum, carrot, celery, whatever I've got. I put those into a pot, saute them for a minute, add some hot water and basically cook them until they're done. And then in a bowl or container, <laughs> I add my sauces. So I put a little bit of sweet soy, a little bit of uh, rice wine vinegar, sriracha sauce, and oh, what is it called? Oh my God. Szechuan pepper oil, that's right, <laughs> nearly forgot, and a lot of fish oil, I mean fish oil, <laughs> fish sauce, <laughs> oh, I'm going a little bit crazy, sorry, a lot of fish sauce I put in, and so I put those in the bottom, then I, once, once the pasta is cooked, which only takes a few minutes, I drain it, chuck it in the bottom of the bowl, and then I just pour over the um, whatever it is that I've got. If I've got leftover chicken, if I've got a tin of fish, that's my protein. If not, I'll boil an egg or two and add those. And that's a nice, delicious Asian style soup. Szechuan pepper oil really just makes it delicious. But there are a few options for you. Now, again, if you're finding that, you know, even even that is a little bit too much for you it's it's feeling a bit much or your appetite just isn't there again i would say start with having some warm water with the juice of half a lemon or um, one teaspoon to one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and sip on that um, and just see how that fits and then start with protein so again uh, if you've got a chicken drumstick or a boiled egg or a handful of nuts start there and see how you go so how do you feel about all of those tips do they feel doable I would really like to know um, what your thoughts are and if you have any questions and if you would like my salads guide which has its own dorky joke in it as well like opens with a real corker let me know in the comments below and I'll make it available to you thanks so much for watching I'll talk to you soon